Hello everyone, my name is Darren. Today I'm here to share with you an exciting program, the Work Study Diploma in IT System Integration. The Work Study Diploma is a two and a half year program that comprises of 900 training hours in IT College West and 3,100 hours in a company performing on the job training. It is a known fact that information technology is found across all industries such as manufacturing, F&B and finance sector, just to name a few. Therefore, it is no surprise that enterprises have projected the demands for IT professionals will continue to grow by another 61,000 in the coming years. In particular, IT specialists in network and infrastructure are among the most in demand where approximately 32,000 are employed in Singapore alone in 2018. The program in IT system integration prepares you for a job role of an infrastructure engineer where it equips you with the skills and knowledge to deploy and test IT infrastructure hardware and software. In addition, the course will provide you with technical knowledge to apply analytics and automation techniques to optimize operational stability. All this knowledge will provide you with a stable and professional career in the IT sector upon graduation. So you may ask, what attributes do I need to be in this job role? First of all, knowing that IT is always at the forefront of technology and ever-changing, you must be able to take initiative and be a lifelong learner. You must also possess a good analytical mind when it comes to troubleshooting IT problems. As an IT professional, you must be prepared to work with people at all levels to communicate technical terms in the most appropriate manner when they need your advice. In the IT industry, changes can only be done after office hour, and so you will be expected to perform standby duties when required. Last but not least, good administration skill to provide proper documentation within an operation team is also highly desired. So, what are the types of work environment you can expect in the job role of an IT infrastructure engineer? As you can see from the pictures, the workplace could be your or company office, in a server room, or at a customer site. You can be performing wide range of tasks such as network configuration, computer troubleshooting, upgrading a system at a workplace, and attending calls to technical queries or incident, to name a few. You can be assured that there will be no shortage of opportunities in this field. The career prospect in this field is very promising. You join a company as an infrastructure support specialist and you can expect to move to the role of an engineer upon graduation from the course. As your technical experience grows, the sky is the limit as long as you are willing to keep learning and possess good interpersonal skills. Over the two and a half years, you will be covering broad-based IT skills to prepare you in the industry. In the beginning, you will learn topics related to end-user computing system and networking technologies. The subjects will equip you with essential knowledge and work procedures to prepare you for daily work tasks. You will also be taught in areas such as server administration, cloud service management, and robotic process automation, domains that are highly sought after in the IT sector. You will also complete a module in data analysis and visualization. Through project teamwork, you will learn how to present data into useful information to assist in business decision making, a skill that is very useful in today's business landscape. You will complete the course with a company project in the final year, where you will propose a feasible project in consultation with your lecturer and company trainer. There is a module known as on-the-job training, which will be spread across a two and a half years program, which I will elaborate further in the next slide. Over the two and a half years, aside from attending classes in campus, you will be working at your company known as on-the-job training where your company trainer will provide you the support and guidance to perform your work tasks properly. 
your company trainer will assess your competency in work tasks assigned to you. This shows the list of OJT competencies that you are expected to perform over the two and a half years while you are at the company. All right, we have a total of 21 competencies in this course and your company will actually select the appropriate competency to give you the necessary training and exposure in order for you to perform the job role. Now, our program follows a training pattern known as block release. Under block release, you will return to ITE for your campus training in a block of weeks and return to your company for your OJT when you have completed the campus training. At the end of every year, you will take an integration assessment to assess your competencies. By the end of the two and a half years, you will have completed your assessment, company project and OJT to receive your diploma certificate. Okay, that's all from me. Thank you for watching this video. I hope to see you in our program. Thank you.